What's, What's up, up Wildcats? Wildcats? I'm Brock. And I'm Clint. This month is pretty eventful. We've got quite a few things happening, so let's get into it. Tomorrow we will have a full day of Wildcats to take the Healthy Kids Colorado survey. So bring your Chromebooks and be prepared. Miranda Dietz was voted Kiwana Student of the Month by teachers and staff members. Congrats, Miranda. Let's see what Mr. Kluzmeyer has to say for Clues' Corner. Hey Wildcats, welcome to Clues' Corner. This week I want to introduce you to our new lead custodian, Tish. Um, Hey, let's do the right thing. If we make a mess, if we see a mess, please help Tish out by cleaning it up. Um, she already takes great pride in being a Fruit Monument Wildcat and is making sure that our school looks really great. So thanks, Tish. Appreciate Thank you. you. Yeah. Um, I also want to read an awesome email that I got from a community member after homecoming weekend, okay? This made me really proud to be the principal of Fruit Monument High School. So Saturday evening, my friend and I had dinner at Strayhorn Grill here in Fruto. When we walked in, we saw a room full of students dressed in their very best. We were skeptical about staying given how many teenagers were in the room, but we decided to stay. The reason I am reaching out this morning is to compliment your students. That's you guys. We were impressed with the maturity shown by the students in the restaurant. They were polite to the staff, they weren't disruptive, and they overall seemed like a great group of kids. We are here on vacation from the East Coast and we don't see that level of maturity from that age group often. You've got a great group of kids. I was really proud to get this. Thanks for being so awesome out there in the community. Continue to be great here in the school. Uh, it's great to be a Fruit of Monument Wildcat. Have a good week, guys. In other news, the FEPP Film Club is starting back up this semester. If you want to learn how to film with an industry professional, come and join. There are only 10 spots so available, so sign up quick. We also have the FBLA Club starting up every other Tuesday at lunch in Record Room. If you're interested in joining, go visit Miss Record in Room 206. Next up, we have Raina and Jackson with the Sports of the Week. Hi, my name is Jackson Steele, and I'm Raina Roberts with your Sports News of the Week. Softball plays the 22nd and 23rd in the tournament at Canyon View. Football playing Bills Week in Denver on Friday the 22nd. Soccer plays Grand Junction Thursday the 21st at Canyon View, and Tuesday the 26th they play Montrose at Canyon View. Last time we had a meet, in Delta, Friday the 22nd at 10 a.m. Volleyball plays September 26th at 5.30 versus Central. Go Wildcats! Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Jackson, Jackson and Raina. Raina. Scholarship season is coming up, Wildcats. Remember that most major deadlines fall between October and December, so make sure to start working on those applications. Coming up soon, we have a field trip to Colorado Mountain College. Make sure you talk to your counselors to sign up. Also, we have a school play coming up. Here's a story that Sam and I wrote to explain more. So we're doing Comedy of Errors by William Shakespeare, but we've rebooted and changed it a lot. So, Yeah, so we're now in Texas in the early 2000s, and we have two sets of identical twins. Uh, we have two girls named Annie. For some reason, their parents decided to give them the same name kind of got separated as a family and they keep getting like mistaken for each other so it gets very slapstick like people yelling at the wrong people about stuff that they didn't actually do it's it's kind of that kind of show yeah my play production's got a great jump start on the set you can kind of see some of that behind me and and that's kind of underway the next three or four weeks we'll have all that polished and uh, the actors are hanging out with me after school running stuff and I, I think they're doing a great job I think we've got a really fun uh, they've got great comic timing and they're just really fun people to work with after school. So, I'm a secondary shop owner in Comedy of Errors. Everything's all good. Uh, yes, I believe everything's going well. Um, we're making good progress on the set design and everything looks like it's going to be turning out good for the play. And for the acting, I also think that is going well. Everyone's coming to practice and we're making good progress on blocking and stuff. Uh, my name is Sebastian or most people know me as Seabass. Uh, Drama Club, uh, we're currently working on a play that's coming soon called The Comedy of Errors. I'm one of the main characters, Adrian. I think he's kind of a, he's kind of a whiny dude, but you know what? It's pretty fun. Uh, people should come see the show because simply it's gonna be possibly one of our funniest uh, plays done. I mean, cons Conspiracy Street was pretty fun, but I feel like this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a who and a holler. Um, not really much for well, come see it. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be hilarious. Who knows what's gonna happen? Mostly come on the Saturday nights because that's when 
the real funny stuff starts to kick off. Make sure you don't miss it. This next Monday is Educator Effectiveness Day, so we don't have school. That's all the news we have for you, Wildcats. Have, have a great, great week. week. Peace, Peace out. out.